How do you guys? It's Jim. And I'm down the caravan this weekend. Weather's beautiful at the minute, but the rain is coming. So the car boats are already cancelled for tomorrow. Apparently, we'll see. Uh, so I'm out and about. Thought I'd do a little bit of charity shopping. I've been down here for a few weeks, so let's see what we can find. Right, okay, yeah, so we did some charity shops um, whilst down at the caravan. Uh, that was on Saturday that I went charity shopping. Um, did okay, to be fair. Um, bit of a mixed bag. Um, did a lot of shops, and I, in a lot I didn't get anything, but I did get some bits. And what I did get, I'll make some good money on. So um, quickly share a couple of, uh, couple of those items. One shop um, near where I go is like a junk shop. Um, I love junk shops, they're just brilliant, full of old stuff that uh, people just chuck out or, or donate or what have you. Um, what caught my eye outside was some fishing gear. Um, I went through it, most of it was, was, was junk, um, quite fitting for the shop. But then I did find these in this bag, Maver bag here. We've got, um, these are pole rollers for fishing. Um, fisher people will know what a pole roller is, but this one is a Preston Innovations large V-shaped roller. And then there's this Maver large U-shaped roller. I'm just trying to get it in. And this one is absolutely mini. It looks hardly used. There's that one. You see Maver on there. That's a good brand for people um, who fish. Um, Maver really is a top of the run as, he, as he's pressed them. Now I got those two for six pounds each. The Preston one should get about 25 to 30, same with the um, with the Maver, so really good return on them. Went into the shop to pay and saw some electronics, um, so thought I'd buy those. There's this Olympus um, note recorder, so a dictaphone. I uh, need some new batteries in, then I'll test that. I'll just check. Yeah, just normal uh, AAA batteries, so I can test that. Then there's a, this big Philips unit, which has got batteries in, and he's working. You can see the tape going around in there, I think, can you? No? It definitely was working. There we go. No, it stops. Every time I pick it up, it stops. Maybe it's at the end of the tape. Um, but yeah, it does work. Um, it's got a tape in it as well is a bonus um, good condition and also this Sony cassette player now I played what did I pay eight pound for the three um, fiver for that one and one pound fifty each for those the uh, dictaphones phones can go for about 10 to 15 each nearer 10 probably 12 95 each I put them on for the Sony cassette player can go for up to 30 um, but uh, I think that's normally when they're boxed. Um, this one I should get between twelve, about twelve ninety five to for fourteen ninety five for that one. So not too bad pickups really. Um, 
The other bits that I picked up were from two other shops. Um, as I say, I must have done 15 charity shops and I only got stuff from the junk shop and two other shops. Um, one of them being this North Face Gelee. Um, it's an extra small, so it's probably a ladies. Um, yes, it's women's uh, small. Um, it's four, it was £4.99. It's in good condition though, I did check it over. Um, good condition. And that can go for about again 12.95 so not a big profit but there is money in it and this time of year really easy sale um and then the next one i spotted two things in the window as i walked past and i knew i hope i've got them on the video actually i knew i'm getting them but so while i was in there I had a wander around and found these these were probably the buy of the day as you can see the price on there i paid 25 pounds for them now these are um, like doctor's scales that you used to see in, uh, in doctors. They go up to uh, 23 stone. Um, so they're a good wide ranging scale. I paid 25, which is a lot, but believe, believe it or not, the exact same as sales on eBay, I checked while I was in the shop, had just sold a couple of days earlier for 75 with free postage. So that is a really good return. I'd take that from 25 pounds, 75, no problem at all. The two things that I saw in the in the in the clothing aisle in, from, as I walked past the window were these two 1980s ski jackets. This one, I mean, even the inside look has got has got stuff written in there. Wicked. This one is, is grey with a design on it and some luminous. Obviously, it was the 80s. Had to be some luminous. Uh, what brand is this one? I think it was Rodeo, which I think was C and A. I'm not quite sure on that. I might be wrong, but uh, Rodeo. It's uh, what size is this one? It doesn't actually say. Fourteen. So it's a ladies' size fourteen. There you go, Rodeo on the front there. Really cool. But the one that really jumped out at me was this. Look at. That. Proper 1980s. And this one is Trespass. Um, has it got a size on this one? I think this is probably about the same size. But it's just cool. I mean, look at the back of it. Look. Look at that. <laughs> um, yeah. Designed for the daring. Oh, yeah. You'd certainly have to be daring to wear this. Just so awesome. But yeah, I paid up for these again. These were £10 each. But I'm expecting at least 35 a jacket for those. Um, because they're just, just really cool. Um, so yeah, that was it. Only a few bits. But really worth it because the profit on them is really good. Um, so it just goes to show, trudging around these charity shops, you might not pick anything up in the first five or six shops, but then you get one where you get two jackets for 20 Well, I got the scales in the same shop. So two jackets for 25 and the scales for for uh, for 25 and the jackets for 20 sorry 45 quid a pen i am expecting 35 for each jacket so that's 70 and 75 for the scales so that's a hundred pound profit from one shop then the other bits as well are some profit so it is worth it it is worth spending the time walking around having a good look and seeing what you can find um, fortunately i found some good stuff again this time and I'll be back doing it again this week at some others. So, uh, yeah, hope that's useful to anyone. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel, please. I really appreciate it. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.